Welcome back everyone. Today we're continuing our journey through the web hacking fundamentals. Last video I finished the OWASP top 10. Today we're going to be focusing on the OWASP juice shop. So we'll just hop right into it. To start off with this room, it looks like we have an attack box that we can start. So we'll go ahead and start that. And then down here in task one, we can go ahead and start the machine as well. So after reading task number one, it basically tells you just to make sure that you complete burp sweep basics, which we did. So I haven't completed the burp seat repeater room, uh, but I think I'll be fine. And then at the bottom, it looks like burp sometimes has an issue with loading the flag or stopping the flag from being shown. So here's some troubleshooting tips uh, if you for some reason think you're doing the right thing but you're not getting the answer. Starting off with the question number one, deploy the VM attached to this task to get started. Uh, you can access this machine by using your browser based machine or if you're connected through op OpenVPN. We're just going to use the attack box here so we'll go ahead and complete that out. Okay and then the second question on this is uh, once the machine is loaded uh, go to the browser and then copy the IP into that. Uh, so we'll open up Firefox over here in the attack box. And then go back over to the room at the top where our machine is shown. We can copy that IP and then paste it into the attack box. Now the website is loaded. I'm not going to click on anything yet. We're going to go ahead and go back over to the room. Complete that task and we'll go to task number two. So in task number two, it basically tells you just to look around the website. But it also tells you to enable burp or turn on burp. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. The burp's going to be over here on the right side. That's going to be the blue one. All right, after you start a new project and you have burp loaded, you can go ahead and minimize that and open up the browser again. The first question is going to be what is the administrator's email address? If we scroll down, it kind of shows us how to do that. But if you look through each one of these, it shows you the reviews and it shows you the emails. So if you copy this email, this should be the admin's email. What parameter is used for searching? Uh, it says click on the magnifying glass on the top right. Just type in a random character and then press enter. Over here it says that we can now see the search parameter after the hashtag slash search. The answer to this one is going to be just a Q. Question number three, what show does Jim reference in his review? Looks like if we can go to the green smoothie, uh, his review will be over there. So we'll just search for green. And then he mentions fresh out of a replicator. And if you Google replicator, it looks like it's from the show Star Trek here. We're done with task number two and we're going to go to task number three here. Task number three basically just talks about the different types of injection attacks. You should definitely go ahead and read those, but for now, we're going to go to the questions. Question number one says log into the administrator account. So it kind of walks us through this. We're going to go ahead and open Burp Suite. You want to make sure intercept mode is on, so we're going to go ahead and go over to proxy, and intercept should be default on. After your Burp Suite is on, go back to the browser and go up to the extensions up here in the top right. We have one up here already for Burp because of Burp Suite Basics. If you don't, I'll go ahead and walk through it. Go ahead and go to Options down here. Go over to Proxies. Click Add. You can name it whatever. I'm just going to name it Burp. The host name is going to be 127.0.0.1 and the port is just 8080. From there, just go ahead and save it. And then if you go back up here to the extensions, you should have uh, the Burp right there. So just go ahead and enable one of them. Okay, so it basically walks us through this again. So we'll go ahead and just click on the hamburger and go to log in. Just log in with anything. I'm going to do A as the uh, email and then A as the password. Go ahead and log in. Then we can minimize this and open up Burp Suite. Go ahead and forward this packet until you get to until you get to this one right here um, where it says email and then password whatever you typed in. So it tells us over here back in the try hack me room what to put here. So we can just copy it and then paste that as the email. After you have that put in as the email, we can go ahead and forward that and then go back to the browser. And it looks like we successfully logged in here. Okay, and it looks like we can copy the three all the way over to the A. Or just hit the copy to clipboard button and then paste that over here. The next question is going to be logging into Bender's account. We'll go ahead and log out over here. We got to forward the packets because it's just going to load. I'm just going to forward all of them. We're going to go ahead and log back in. We're going to type any characters again, log in, and then go back to Burp Suite, forward up to the email, and then it gives us the email right here. It's going to be bender at juice-sh.op, and then two dashes at the end. That's going to be to comment out whatever comes after. So we'll go ahead and forward that one, minimize that, and go back to the browser. It looks like we logged in as bender. We'll copy his flag to the clipboard so we can paste it in over here. 
And that's going to be it for task number three. We're going to be moving on to test four here. Question one for task number four is going to have us brute force the administrator's account. If we go to the apple juice right here, we can see the admin account right here. So we'll go ahead and copy that. I turned my burp suite off in the browser right here just so I can navigate a little easier. Once we're back in the login, I'm going to turn it back on because we're going to need it again. And then we're going to paste that admin email in here with any password. Hit login. And then we'll go back to burp suite. Get to this email page right here for this email request. And then up here in the top right, we're going to hit action, send to intruder. And then up here in the top, we can go over to intruder and it'll be right here. Once we're in here, it looks like we're going to have to hit the clear button. So go ahead and hit the clear on the right side. And then it looks like we need to copy this symbol right here and paste that in the password twice. Looks like that's the burps implementation of quotation marks. The next part, it looks like we need to download this uh, text file. So we need to go and install Seclist. So do the app kit install Seclist, uh, which I'll be doing right here in the terminal. And then it looks like we can load this list from this file path right here. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. Okay, so I just went through the whole file path right there and it automatically just put in all of the, the text file. So now that we have the payload set, we can go ahead and start the attack. This is going to take a while, so I'll, I'll be right back when it's done. Five, ten minutes in, uh, it didn't get all the way through as you can see. It's only in 195 out of 1050. I pressed status, so it filtered the status from lowest to highest, and it looks like we already got the hit. It's admin123 is the password. We'll go ahead and exit out of this and stop this, discard it. We can now go back into uh, the browser. I'm going to turn off burp here. Since we know the password, it's going to be admin123. We log in and now we're signed in as him and we have a new flag now. So we'll go ahead and copy that and we'll paste it in here. It looks like we have to reset Jim's password now and it kind of walks us through this, but I'll, I'll walk you through it as well. Go ahead and log out as admin and go back into the login page. If we hit forget password, we can type in Jim's email, Jim at news dash sh dash op and then for the security question it's your eldest sibling's middle name earlier we found out jim is probably just a character from star trek so if we know that we can probably assume this question is based off the star trek show so over in the try hack me room it shows you that if you google jim's brothers it shows that samuel comes up so samuel is probably the answer to this so we'll type that in and now we can type in a new password I'm just going to change it to one, two, three, four, five. Once we hit change, it looks like a new flag comes up. We can go ahead and copy that and then paste that over here. That's going to be it for task number four. We're moving on to task number five. On task number five, it looks like we need to access the confidential document. So to do that, if we go over to the hamburger menu and go to the about us under the company, we can see if we highlight over this link right here at the very bottom, it shows the IP and then it shows that it's connecting to an FTP server. So if we type in that IP and go to FTP up here in the browser, we should be able to load their, their files right here. And then in the track me room, it looks like we were just going to download the acquisitions.md right here. After you download that, it looks like uh, you can navigate back to the home page. If we just type back in the IP, uh, it looks like we get another flag here. So we'll go ahead and just copy that, paste that over here. And it looks like we need to log into a mix safe search account okay so if you watch this video he tells his password you can see right here uh but he says that he replaces zero or the o's with zeros uh so we now know the password to his account so we'll go ahead and log in as him copy this email over here and then we'll copy this password after that we're logged in and we have a new flag right here so we can copy that and paste it right here question number three tells us to go back to the ftp server so we'll go there and it tells us to download the package.json file and it gives us a 403 error only md and pdf files are allowed to download to get around this it looks like we're gonna have to use a character bypass called the poison null byte which is basically just putting some characters into the url by putting those characters in it'll tell the server to terminate at that point and then uh, it'll null everything behind so you're basically just left with the original file and it allows you to download it So we're gonna go ahead and type that in which is gonna be percent 2500 MD and then enter and it looks like we're able to download it here if we go all the way back home again It looks like we have a new flag which it looks like it's going to be the one that starts with the B and then the one that ends with the five because the other one didn't work. That's the correct answer. So 
that's going to be it for task number five. We're moving on to task six. So question number one is telling us to go to Firefox. If we go over to the hamburger up there and then go to more tools. We can do web developer tools and then go over here to debugger. It says once we're here, go ahead and uh, go to the page at main-es2015.js. So this one right here if we click these brackets here at the bottom it makes it more readable and then if we hit Control f uh we need to look for admin so we'll go ahead and type in the admin and it says that we're looking for the one that shows path colon administration so that's going to be this one right here okay so it looks like by this being here it shows that there's another page called administration because uh, we can see down here that there's an about so we know that there's an about page so that means there's probably an administration page, but to get there, we'll, we'll probably need to be logged in as the admin, uh, which is good because we already know the password for for the admin. So we'll go ahead and log into that account. Going back to task number two, it looks like the admin account's up there. We'll type in admin123. And then up here, we'll just go to the administrator page. Once we get to this uh, admin page, it looks like that we have the flag here. So we'll copy that, paste it over here. Question number two is view another user shopping basket. So it tells us to log into the admin account, which we're already logged in and go to your basket. We'll click on the top right. Okay, it says to make sure burp is running. So we're gonna go ahead and enable that again. So up here at the top right, just click on burp. We'll go to the basket. Once you click on the basket and uh, capture those packets, uh, you wanna forward the request till you get to the get request for the basket. And it looks like we're gonna change the number one to two. And then we can forward that. And it looks like we get the basket for a user two here uh, and we get another flag so we'll go ahead and copy that and that's how you view other users baskets moving to question number three remove all five star reviews it looks like it wants us to go back to this administration page all right and then we're gonna delete the number one review if we scroll down and then we get another flag up here if we scroll up Question number one, it tells us if we copy and paste this command right here into the search bar, uh, we should get an alert on the screen. And it tells you why it works right here, but we're looking for the flag, so we should get it right after that. Copy that, paste that. Question number two, we need to perform a persistent XSS. Uh, so first log into the admin account. I believe we already still are. Yep, we are. We're gonna uh, navigate to the last login IP page. So go down to privacy, and last login IP is at the very bottom there. Okay, it looks like we need to make sure intercept is on. So we'll go ahead and go to the extension up here and enable that again. And then it tells us to log out. So we'll go ahead and hit the log out button and go back to burp suite. We'll forward this until we get a... Uh... Okay, so I just typed in true client IP and then put a colon and then put this code in here. We're going to go ahead and see if that works. So we'll go ahead and forward that request. We'll go back to Firefox. It looks like that did work. So we'll go ahead and copy that to our clipboard paste that over here into the room and then question number three is perform a reflected xss first we're going to need to be on the right page perform the reflected xss log into the admin account and navigate to the order history page i might turn off burp suite for now we need to log back in as the admin now we need to go to the order history page the so orders and payments and then order history if you click on this truck right here i might open it in a new tab actually i'll just click on it looks like this url has an id parameter in it so if we go ahead and take out everything after that equal sign and then paste it with this iframe code right here it doesn't sanitize it so it pops up with the alert box there uh, we can hit ok and then we get the flag right there is that task number eight the the last uh task in this exploration if you wish to tackle some of the harder challenges that were not covered in this room check out this hashtag scoreboard page we'll go ahead and take a look at that real quick there's the flag for the last one so we'll go ahead and copy that and paste that over here for now that's it for the room uh let's go look at this page real quick okay so after looking at this it looks like there's a there's a lot more things that you can do in this room which is awesome super cool I don't really have the time to do it today, but I will definitely have to come back to this room and try some of these challenges because there, there's just so many here. Yeah, I've only solved like very few, not even half of them it looks like that I've solved. But other than that, if you guys enjoyed this video or if it helped you out at all, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time.